Today's limited equipment workout is going to begin with a run. We are going to be doing two minutes on with two minutes of rest for five sets. Now, 85% is what the target intensity is here. And what that really means is we should be able to push from the start of two minutes to the finish of two minutes, that same speed the entire time, and then be able to repeat it through the rounds, okay? So here's a good time to really focus on proper arm swing, keeping the, the arms moving forward and backwards, keeping the shoulders steady, and thinking about your cadence, like how often you're actually hitting the ground with your feet, okay? So keep the cadence up, keep the intensity up, and use your arm swing to keep your tempo where you want it, okay? Faster the arm swing, faster the run. That's what we wanna kinda of really focus on today. Now the second part we're going to be doing is gonna be two minutes on the clock, 50 double unders, 12 kettlebell sumo delf high pulls, and then as many handstand pushups as you can in the remaining time. We'll rest one minute, and then we'll go again for five sets. Now, the double unders, thinking about 50 reps here, we wanna think about consistently moving through this and not having to break it up. So if you have to break this up more than once, go ahead and just cut the number back down. Okay, so think about doing maybe 30 around, okay? That's how you can kind of manage this, because it's 250 double unders as written. If that sounds like a lot of dubs for you, just cut the number back. Now, uh, let's go over the double under to start. Starting in the checked in position, right? We have our shoulders back, spinning at the wrist, okay? Just hopping straight up and down. Good, if we need to do singles, we can do singles. Good, just moving steady, okay? Next is gonna be that sumo del of high pull. So feet are gonna be wide, hips down, chest up, and driving up, finishing with the elbows up. Excellent, perfect. And lastly, we go to that handstand push-up. So we're gonna kick up on the wall. Hands are gonna come back down, and the, the head and hands are gonna make a tripod position. We actually get her head towards the, the wall a little bit more on the way down, and then she drives up on the wall. So hips are resting on the wall, okay? For the handstand push-up, focusing on just manageable sets. These don't have to be huge chunks. You can always raise up and make this, you know, you can elevate this up and put a little bit more, like maybe a, a towel or two down. If you don't have an ad mat, a towels work really well here. And raise it up so you don't have to go as far up and down, okay? The big thing here is just getting that time in the handstand push-up. Now, if you wanna do push-ups or dips or anything like that, that's a great substitute for today. So feel free to do that, all right? We hope you're enjoying this content. Please like this video, okay? And if you have any questions or you know you would like some review of maybe your handstand push-up, maybe you're struggling with handstand push-ups, okay? Tag me, tag Mako on Instagram. We will then look at your handstand push-up. I will give you some feedback and hopefully get you closer to what you want, which is good handstand push-ups and, and just crushing it in general, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Get after it.